Hey guys, Brett and 9mm USA here. And what you see in front of you are my two Gen 3 Glock RTF2 pistols. This one is a Glock 17 and this one is a Glock 19. So they're third gen, so they come with the cheaper plastic Glock guide rods from the factory. And we've been in touch with stainless steel guide rods and they've sent us several to try out in our pistols. That way we can report back to you and see how good they are. So we're going to go ahead and break down these two Glock pistols and put in the stainless steel guide rods. And then we're going to shoot them. Take out the guide rod that's in it. It's a simple swap. Open up this one. So it has a stainless steel washer in the face of it to prevent any over travel. You can just tell it's very good quality thick stainless steel. So it's going to add a little bit of weight to the front of the pistol, which should help in felt recoil. Also should shorten the time for double taps. If you're trying to shoot quickly, a little bit of weight up front should uh, help you out in that regard. So these guide rods are made out of 304 stainless steel. That's the metal that they're made out of. This one says Glock 19, 23, 32, or 38. So you can put them in different Glock pistols. Again, there's the washer at the end. If you can see that. How does the recoil spring feel? Feels pretty strong. Forcing the pistol right back into battery. And there, of course, the pistol is empty, guys. No magazine in it. There's the stainless steel end of it. So that's how that looks. That's the Glock 19 RTF2. And then here. No mag. That's the Glock 17 RTF2. So we're going to throw some rounds through them and see how they do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So again, these guide rods are from stainlessteelguiderods.com. Tell them Brett and I millimeter USA sent you. Okay, you can see the solid piece of stainless steel there for the guide rod with the pistol locked back. The spring does seem very strong. The RTF does have night sights on it, so we'll see how it does here. Works really good. No issues, no hang-ups. So how does the recoil feel? It feels like it's keeping the muzzle down a little bit, which is one of the things it's supposed to do. And that was pretty fast shooting. Not too bad. Shoots real nice, 100% reliable, so we're gonna keep shooting it. Okay, magazine number two the stainless steel dot com guide rod. Wow. Shoot it all day long like that, right? Headshots. It's like I'm trying to clear the whole target right there. So chest first, and then brought it up for some headshots. Shoots really quick. I'm liking it. So that's a Glock 17 RTF2. Let's move on to the Glock 19 RTF2. Okay, here is the Glock 19 RTF2 with the stainless steel guide rods.com guide rod already installed. Nice piece of stainless steel. Let's see how the 19 feels.
got a little carried away with how fast it was shooting. That's me just trying to shoot it almost as quick as I can and hitting the Evil Roy target every time. So again, this one seems to be 100% reliable. Evil Roy over here. A little bit all over the place. But I was pulling the trigger about as fast as I could. See how it performs. Let's try another mag. I don't know. Seems to work great. It does seem to tame the recoil just a tad. If you're looking for something that will help out and recoil just a little bit, might be a good way to go. Having that piece of stainless steel up there, there's no way that thing can fail. The plastic ones just seem a little cheap to me from the factory. This time I just shot over here at the paper target. Went up for some headshots. The Glock 19 RTF2 installed in it is the stainless steel guiderods.com guide rod. 100% reliable. Let's shoot it some more. Are you able to shoot it a little bit quicker? I think so, yeah. These are very high quality, you guys, especially for the price. Again, these are over at stainlessteelguiderods.com for $35, $34.99. Very high quality. Yeah, it seems like a good buy. So here is the Glock 17 RTF2. Notice the fish scales. Is that what they were called back then? You know, I think so. I think, <laughs> I think that's right, young brother. Okay. Well, there's the rough textured frame. It's pretty nice. It really digs into your hand. You know, this isn't going to drop out of your hand. But that's not what we're here to talk about. <laughs> we're here to talk about the stainless steel guide rod from stainlessteelguiderods.com. I noticed a bigger difference, I think, in the 17. It just seems very flat shooting. And the recoil is really controlled in this Glock 17, so you can shoot it quickly and hit the target. The recoil spring seems like it's stiffer. And also, look how nicely finished that guide rod is, you guys. Yes, it's got a little bit of carbon on it right now, but you can definitely tell it looks very nice. And it's definitely a lot higher quality than the plastic guide rod that comes factory from Glock. Yeah. I think you found the same thing as I did is it's so yeah. flat shooting and so easy to just fire multiple shots. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot in this Glock 17. We're going to have to test it out in one of your Glock 22s and see what it's like. You fired that fast. That's a nice group, man. So the guide rod from stainlessteelguiderods.com, especially in the 17, I find it makes a big difference. Just very flat shooting and quick. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video on the Glock 17 and the Glock 19 RTF2s.